Good morning everybody! Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm gonna make this very quick because I don't want to be late. I'm just about to eat my breakfast. Well it's mainly brunch actually now. Um, and then I've got to really quickly go to my sister's because we've got a nail appointment at two o'clock. So yeah, this is definitely brunch. <laughs> But I've got some nice poached eggs on avocado on toast. Nice poached eggs and avocado on toast. And yeah, I'm going to quickly demolish this because I'm starving. And then I'm going to go and get my nails done because they are in desperate need. They are so bad. One of them's cracked. I'm just, I'm going to feel like a new woman after this because yeah, this isn't a vibe. I have no idea what I want to get. I might go for like the milky white again. But yeah, I really don't have time to talk to you. I might talk to you in the car if my GoPro is charged. Um, but yeah, this looks delicious. Right, I ate that <laughs> at record speed, record. Um, I don't think I've ever eaten anything as quick in my whole life. And I'm hoping I haven't forgotten anything because I've literally just rushed out the door. So I'm en route now to Jazz's house. I think we're just gonna drive to the salon instead of walking because I don't think we're gonna have enough time. That's the only thing about living not down the road from Jazz anymore is that I have to actually figure out what time I'm leaving the house. Like I have to put more preparation into <laughs> like the plan. Whereas before she was like five minutes down the road from me. So it didn't really matter. But I have a sneaky feeling that she's gonna end up moving closer to me <laughs> at some point in the next couple of years, which will be funny. It looks very busy today. Even just pulling out of my estate. I actually can't wait to get my nails done, guys. I have felt like a greb because they are just so awful. Like, you know when you get to the point where you're actually embarrassed of your nails because they're so bad and you're like, try and hide them. Although you can probably fully see them now. Um, yeah, I'm very looking forward to getting them done. And I actually used my heatless curler last night, which I haven't used in the past couple of weeks. I'm not gonna lie guys, I I went through a really like can't be asked couple of weeks and I just haven't, like I haven't done my makeup. I, actually, that's a lie. I did my makeup when I went down to my grandparents' house um, because obviously we were going out and stuff and it was just nice to get ready. But in the week, I'm just such a, I don't know like I've just been such a like can't be asked type of person I think I've just been feeling a little bit overwhelmed like work-wise life-wise as per usual oh my god why is it so busy sorry I'm just trying to get out of my estate and it's just so busy but yeah um I've just been feeling a little bit overwhelmed um but it's fine we're gonna work on the uh, the routine side of things I think I mentioned that in my last vlog that I wanted to get into a routine um <laughs> still trying to get there i just i don't know i've just fallen off the wagon a little bit guys i really need to get a routine back but i think it's also important to remember that there are going to be times in your life where you do feel a lot less motivated i don't even know why i've got my sunglasses on because the sun's gone in um and now it comes back out as soon as i take my sunglasses off but yeah there are going to be times when you do feel unmotivated and it's not like a, is it linear <laughs> i'm hoping you know what i mean um it's not that kind of experience like life is up and down and i feel like for the past few years i have had a lot of downs um but it's all about trying to get through it. And um, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get through this this down part in my life at the moment. It's so weird because I literally said in a few vlogs back that I was feeling so much better and that genuinely was the case. Um, and then I just got hit with like, I was, very, I was really unwell at the start of this week and I had really bad like abdominal pain and it just was not going away i had it for in the end i think i had it for just under a week and i genuinely thought that like i don't know something was wrong because it just wasn't nothing i was doing was getting rid of it and like i'm prone to stomach pain being celiac i know that but yeah it was just it was very intense the pain and it was very 
it was horrible really but the GP seems to think that it was linked to celiac I don't understand how because I am on a very strict gluten-free diet um, so yeah I don't really understand how it can be linked <laughs> you know someone actually commented on one of my videos saying that it's getting annoying that I say everything is gluten-free how do you think how annoying do you think it is to live with it because I'm telling you now I've actually had so many messages from other people who are celiac and we always discuss like how frustrating it is it's really it's really hard work and it's not just something that the doctors will say oh you're celiac um, and then everything changes like you feel better like I do feel better um, not 100% but I do feel so much better than I used to but it's like an ongoing thing like it's something that you live with for the rest of your life for anyone that doesn't know there's no cure there's no medication you literally just go gluten free but it's not always as easy as that because you you'll be eating at other people's houses you'll be eating out at restaurants because you're not going to go for the rest of your life not eating at a restaurant like that's just mental um you go on holidays and there is always that risk of consuming a little bit of gluten and even the smallest little bit will affect you if you're celiac which i think a lot of people don't understand like oh, the thing that i always get the most is oh but a little bit won't hurt will it and it's like uh yes it will like even the smallest crumb of bread can make me feel ill so yeah sorry that i mention it but it has taken over my life like i don't know how else to say it like that is the reality it does take over your life and you think about it a lot you have to be more careful and also i just like to mention that things are gluten-free for new people that join and like watch me like you might not know that when you first come to my channel so other people might be in the same situation and be gluten-free and think oh my god i can eat that recipe so that's the <laughs> that's the long version of it but yeah we're gonna get back into a routine guys and we're gonna do it together and i'm gonna hopefully in the next few months have a routine that i can document and show you because i'm very determined to sort my shit out i feel like i've been saying that for years though but then that that's the reality this is life not everything is perfect no one person feels amazing all the time and it, that's so important to remember because social media can make that it look like that that people are always happy and their life is perfect and behind the scenes i don't know they could be going for a breakup or they could be in debt or they could be dealing with someone that they love being ill but they don't show that and i really just want i don't know why this has turned into a deep live chat with sophie but i just felt drawn to say that to people so i really hope that if anyone needs to hear that today that that's helped them because i know it can feel so lonely and i just wanted to be real guys this is life my life's not perfect it's far from perfect and obviously a lot of the things that i show you i want to be happy and i want to cheer you guys up if you're having a bad day or i want to make you feel cozy if you're just wanting to relax but i also do want you to feel comforted if you're in that situation and you feel alone you're not alone guys my inbox is always open by the way I speak to so many of you daily like i get quite a lot of messages actually daily and i love having a chat with you guys even if it's just i don't know like how are you <laughs> it's just nice you know and i feel like sometimes people online like my I, I i view you guys as friends like there are so many of you that have watched me for years and i literally know your names like i, I see you comment on my videos and i know that you've commented on many of them before like i know how long you followed me for um because i've seen it and it's just so nice because I view you as my friends and a lot of online people can be more supportive than even people I know in real life. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the sad truth really, to be honest. I mean, it's not sad for me because I get to speak to, to all of you, but I've literally been sat in this traffic. I mean, I've been moving along slowly, but I've only just got to the main road <laughs> where I live, which usually takes me about two minutes and it's taken me about 10. I feel like that's how long I've been talking for. So anyway, 
I'm gonna go to Jasmine's and I'm going to get my nails done. I'm gonna stop yapping because you're probably sick to death. Let me know if you like these chatty vlogs. A lot of you do say that you like the more chatty ones and I think one of the main reasons that my videos aren't very long is because I think that you'll get bored of what I'm saying. <laughs> and um, yeah, just let me know if you like the chatty stuff. I used to do a lot of chatty vlogs and now it's sort of, I don't know, I just get a bit worried that people are gonna get bored. But anyway, guys, I will show you my nails once I've got them done. I don't think I'll film in there. I never really do because it's usually quite busy or you get a camera out and people look at you like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I will show you once I've got them done. I'm home. I actually got back a lot later than I thought I was going to because we saw my brother out and um, we went and got some lunch. So that was really nice. We went to a little cafe that is down that high street and I used to go there a lot actually when I lived there. So yeah, it was really nice. I just had like a jacket potato with cheese and beans, which is my favorite topping on a jacket potato. I know it's very controversial, some people really don't like beans, but I love a baked bean. <laughs> so yeah, me and my sister had that and then my brother had a panini. So now I've literally just been sat for about an hour planning content. You should see the mess that is around me, so many notebooks. I'm one of those people that loves a notebook I know that a lot of people have gone digital with it and I have tried to go digital and I do have some things on my laptop that are like organisational things. I'm really trying to work on my organisation. I feel like it's slipped over the years. I used to be very organised and now it's like organised chaos. Um, <laughs> so I have got some like to-do lists on my laptop but I just love a good old notebook. I think it's just... It works better for me to have it written down and like the process of writing it down. So I've just been scheduling some content in, figuring out what sort of videos I want to put out over the next few weeks. Obviously we are approaching autumn, which makes me so excited. I can't wait to do my autumn content. Also nails, by the way. I think I did show you a little clip a minute ago, but I went for a milky white colour. I sort of mix and match between this and french tip i'm still doing biab these are my natural nails guys i cannot believe it i never used to be able to grow my nails and with biab obviously they are your natural nails most of the time unless one of mine breaks and then i get a tip on it but this one broke and then they managed to to save it so <laughs> that's good callum is currently playing golf with my stepdad and rob so I'm gonna pop out to Asda quickly and get something for dinner because since we got back from my grandparents, we have not done a food shop. I know, so again, unorganized. Um, but we've got my brother staying, uh, my littlest brother staying this weekend because my parents are going away for my mum's birthday. It's actually her birthday on Sunday. So we've got him. I need to make sure that we do the food shop. I think I might do it either tomorrow or order it for a delivery on Sunday. I'll see. I need to write a list, actually. That is on my to-do list. On my list to make a list. <laughs> make it make sense. But um, I'm going to pop out to the shops quickly, get something for dinner. I really don't know what I fancy. Callum wants something quick. And I think I do want something quick because I'm going to take Teddy Bear for a walk. Look at him. Oh, with your ball. You love your ball, don't you? You're just obsessed with it. But you are a bit sleepy today, aren't you? You're a little Snorlax. Oh, darling. You're so cute. See, so yeah, I'm going to take him for a walk um, once I've had dinner. And then I'll get him his dinner after the walk. <laughs> Teddy. Who's this? Who's that? <gasps> Oh, look how cute you are. I gave him a brush earlier. I'm trying to like weekly brush him because he's getting quite long now. Like his fur, he definitely needs to get booked in for a groom soon. But yeah, he looks all cute and fluffy. I'm just so obsessed with my dog. Like, it's a joke. I feel like I, I can't be the only one that's so obsessed with their dog. But anyway, enough of the talking. I need to get in the car and go to Asda.
Right, I'm back from the shop and I actually think I'm gonna take Teddy for a walk first because as you can see, it's currently sunset. So I think I'm gonna take him first and then I'm gonna make my dinner. So it's quite a late dinner, but to be fair, I had that jacket potato at like 4 p.m. So it's fine having a later dinner. And when I say I've got an easy dinner, I mean it. I have got some garlic bread and a lasagna. I know it's not the healthiest. I would preferably like to make my own lasagna. Um, I have been making a really nice one that is my mum's recipe. So I do usually like to like batch cook a lasagna and have it for like lunches and stuff throughout the week. But that's going to have to do because as I said, we have not done a food shop and I was not going around there to do a food shop tonight. So I'll probably do it tomorrow. But first things first, we're going to go for a lovely little walk and then we're going to have dinner. I'm going to feed Teddy at the same time. And then I'm going to sit down to relax. I think by the time Callum gets home, we're probably then going to watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> we went to bed so late last night because we were watching Game of Thrones. I think Callum's actually trying to ring me. So as I was saying, I'm going to go for a walk now. Teddy, do you want to go for a walkies? <gasps> do you want to go for a walkies? <laughs> yeah? Wow, it always takes him a minute to process what I'm saying. He's like, walkies, what's that? Literally, no matter how many times I say it to him, he just can't grasp what that means for like a, the first like 10 seconds. Are we gonna get your harness on and go for a walk? Yay! I love how I talk to him like he's a child. Right, I'm gonna go. We're back. Teddy had a nice little walk over the field and he's now having his dinner, so I'm gonna make mine. It's literally not even warm up, like, I mean, it's warm for England at this time of night. I think it's still like 21 degrees, but I feel like it's hotter than that because why is it after a walk? Well, <laughs> that's such an obvious question, isn't it? I was about to go, why, why is it after a walk you feel so much warmer and it's because it's exercise, it's getting your body moving and blood pumping and all of that good stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make my dinner now. I'm literally just gonna shove it in the oven. I think it takes like 25 minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna put in my garlic bread. I love having garlic bread with lasagna and like any kind of pasta. I always put like the pasta on top of the garlic bread and eat it like that and it's just so delicious. So looking forward to having this. I just love a lasagna. Any form of pasta, I just love. I have a nice drink. I need to get a drink actually, that's for mine. Okay everybody, first off, I wanna say, <laughs> I don't have a clue why this vlog ended so abruptly. Like it ended with me saying I need to go get a drink. <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't know what was going on that day. But I thought I'd wrap up today's video here. I'm really sorry that it just didn't really entail much. It was just me chatting for the whole thing. Um, sorry about the abrupt ending. Sorry about my appearance right now. I've got so many like little spots on my chin. But anyway, I thought I'd wrap up today's video here. I really hope you enjoyed it regardless. Let me know, as I said earlier on in the video, if you like these like really chatty vlogs and I'll make sure that I do more of them. I'm trying to make my videos longer, so I don't understand why I ended the vlog that abruptly, but it is two weeks until the autumn content. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek of something. It's something I'm very excited about. Um, I'm just so excited for autumn, guys. I know that I keep banging on about it, but I can't help it, it's just who I am. Um, and I know that so many of you are excited about it too. Literally, guys, it makes me laugh so much. And I'm actually really grateful because all of you guys message me daily with new things, like autumn things that are in the shops. And it honestly makes me giggle because I'm just like, I love how that's your first thought is to like snap a picture and send it to me and be like this is in Matalan or this is in Home Sense or the range and it's it's so nice it's just I feel like we've got a really good community over here and I just love it I love that majority of you are just just as obsessed with autumn as I am it just 
is great. But I really hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope that you have a lovely rest of your week and I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.